welcome to Joe Snowmobile's kitchen. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the most common problems with snowmobiles. Uh, the number one being um, what people always assume to be a bad fuel pump. Let me point this out. Out of the several thousand snowmobiles that I've probably worked on over the last 20 years, I've never had a bad fuel pump. I have had one that had some junk in it that I did have to clean out, some old gas that was hardened, but I've never had a bad fuel pump. What causes people to think that they have a bad fuel pump is old fuel line in your tank. It's very similar to what you would find inside your fuel tank of an older snowmobile, something from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, maybe even the early 2000s are starting to get into these issues as well. But this fuel line Although when it is outside the sled and not in the fuel tank gets hard, it's actually the opposite. When it's in the fuel tank, it actually gets soft and turns into more of like a jelly, uh, very squishy, and eventually it falls off of the intake pickup and it also falls off of the port that is on the back of the fuel tank and basically falls down inside your tank and now you're left with a void of no uh, fuel line to pick up the fuel in your tank. And so this is an old one, and I don't know if you can see that, but there is actually, you can see right through that pickup, there's no filter on this. I have a Polaris intake, in tank fuel pickup, and it actually has a filter on the end of it. It's not the best filter, it's more of a screen, so I do recommend an inline filter somewhere after the fuel tank, but you can pick these up for about five to $10 um, online. And the part number on this is an SM-07002. And uh, I will post that in the link as, or in the description as well. What you wanna do to fix that problem is you wanna get some new fuel line. And there's a line called Tygon. This is a parts unlimited brand. This is a one and a quarter inch um, inner diameter. Uh, but that's a typical size for fuel line. You wanna snip off, depending how big your fuel tank is, you know, maybe a foot to 18 inches, uh, maybe up to two feet even, depending how long your tank is. And then you'll slide your fuel pickup line, not your old one, but your new one, on the end of that line, feed it back inside the tank, and then put your connector for the outside of the tank on the outside. I don't have one of those with me to show you right now. Don't use this black fuel line, although they sell it at the auto parts store. Um, you can't see the fuel going through it, hard to tell if you're even getting fuel, and I, I don't recommend it. It won't fit in most fuel tanks either. Now, I have, let all this away. I've got a fuel tank with me. It's a newer one off the of Skidoo Rev, but it kind of does show what you're gonna be looking at on a snowmobile fuel tank. And you'll see that here is the line that comes out that goes to the carburetors. It has a rubber grommet on a lot of skidoos. I have Polaris has a screw in. Uh, Yamaha has more of a drop in style, which is they typically don't have problems with the Yamaha uh, pickups, but eventually you can. It's more on the Polaris, uh, Arctic Cats, and um, skidoos. This rubber grommet usually does get um, dried out over time, and you'll have to replace it about five to ten dollars. You can get it at even most small engine dealers; they will carry it. But when you pop this out, that's where your fuel line is connected on the inside with that fuel pickup. Now Skidoo did a really smart thing when they put this fuel pickup at the bottom of the tank. Even if that pickup inside the tank breaks off, you can see it at the very bottom of the tank, so you would literally be have to be out of gas for it to not pick up fuel. Now Polaris, the older versions, they have it way up here. Uh, so does the older Skidoos, some of the Arctic Cats. So if you have less than a half a tank or less than three quarters of a tank, you ain't gonna pick up any fuel. So if you have a full tank of gas, yeah, that pickup will will feed feed gas into your carburetor. But once it drops below that that port, and your blind is broken off inside the tank, forget it. It isn't gonna pick up any fuel. So I hope that helps you. Um, I've seen that so often. People come to me with a no start condition. It's the fuel line in the tank. It's pretty simple cost you less than 10 to 15 bucks to fix. And worst case scenario, if you if you don't have a fuel line and a pickup around and you really want to ride your sled, 
What I suggest doing, fill your tank up full and keep some spare gas with you. That's an emergency situation. Um, but past that, get yourself a new pickup for the tank. There's different si different types too. This is just one. This is one from Polaris. I've seen other filters with a nice, um, real nice screen on it as well. Um, past that, if you're not getting fuel to your carburetors, also check your impulse line that goes from the carburetor to the engine. There are some times where those do get cracks in them. And one other thing I do recommend too. Put a shutoff valve on your fuel line coming from the fuel tank. I can't tell you how many times I've come out in the morning and had a gasoline puddle on the floor in the garage because they had a sticky float in the carburetor from a sled I just picked up and hadn't been worked on in years. You know, last thing you want to do is blow up your house. So I recommend putting in a fuel line, uh, fuel shutoff, turn it off when you're not using the sled, turn it on when you're using the sled. It's a safety thing. So guys, I appreciate you watching Joe Snowmobiles again. Check out my other videos. I've got videos on how to clean carbs. I've got videos, walk arounds, all kinds of different snowmobiles. If you're looking for parts, you can email me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up. It really helps me put out more videos like this. And I hope this helps, uh, helps you guys uh, to get your sleds back on the snow out there, back on the trail, and uh, get out there and have some fun. And